OJ Simpson has the starring role in yet another court case this week. This time he's determined to clear his name after being convicted of robbery, assault and kidnapping during a hotel heist in 2007. Our showbiz correspondent Catherine Morgan joins us now from LA. And Kat, before we get to OJ, I want to begin with Angelina Jolie's announcement that she's having this double mastectomy. What's the reaction been to this in LA? Well, of course, our stars here have been incredibly shocked, but they're also full of praise for Angelina Jolie for speaking out about her very big decision to have that double mastectomy. Our breast cancer survivors like Cheryl Crow, Juliana Rancic and Kylie Minogue, they've both tweeted their support for Angelina, saying they're just so proud of someone to speak about such a private battle. Uh, Brad Pitt, Angelina's fiancé, has given an interview to a British magazine overnight. He's called his partner heroic for um, for making that huge decision to prevent uh, you know her chance of developing the disease. Okay, yeah, we've had a bit of reaction to that here too, and similar things. People saying they're really proud and inspired by what she's done. Let's move on to O.J. Simpson, back in court again, and apparently looking quite different. <laughs> Well, we haven't seen him for a few years. He's been in jail for the past four years, uh, serving part of his 33-year sentence for his involvement in that Las Vegas hotel heist. And he appeared in court yesterday, and he's looking a little greyer, a little podgier, I suppose you could say. Uh, the media here have been very unkind. There have been headlines such as guilty for being fat. Um, so a little harsh, but as I said, he is serving uh, a sentence for his involvement in that hotel heist and he's been back in court. He's fighting to have that conviction overturned and he wants a chance of a new trial. He says he had bad legal representation in that original trial in 2008 for his involvement in that 2007 hotel heist. So he wants a judge to agree to a new trial. He says uh, his lawyers in that first trial didn't even tell him about a plea deal that was offered by the prosecution that would have seen him serve only two years behind bars instead of, instead of the 33 years that he's currently serving. And he is going to take the stand tomorrow uh, to tell uh, his side of the story. So it'll be interesting to see what he has to say. Because mm, the most famous case was obviously 1995 when he was acquitted of murder. But is there the same media storm around this one? Well, there has been obviously a fair bit of interest because it's O.J. Simpson and anything that he does, people do sort of like to uh, take an interest in. But, I mean, that trial back in 1995, that's still called the trial of the century. Uh, he is still the most high-profile American to ever stand trial for murder. And I think you'll find most Americans still believe he was guilty of murdering his ex-wife and her friend. He, of course, was acquitted of those charges, but I think you'll find most Americans do believe he did it. So there is a a fair bit of interest in this particular case to see whether he's going to get a chance to clear his name. OK, moving on now to Matt Perry. Matthew Perry, who of course was the friend star Chandler. Now he's had a bit of an interesting run-in. He did this new show called Go On and um, then got interviewed about it, didn't he? <laughs> He did. It's incredibly awkward. Now, his uh, sitcom was cancelled the other day, and it happened to be that evening he was at an LA Kings ice hockey game. Uh, a reporter, a sideline reporter, decided he saw Matthew Perry and thought, I'm going to interview him. But he obviously missed the memo that the show had been cancelled. And, and what took place after that was incredibly cringeworthy. Take a listen. Big news today, and congratulations, there's an order. Oh, thank you. You're talking about my show getting cancelled. Yes, uh, it was a uh, sort of a sad day because of the people, and I'm going to miss them. Oh, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Uh, but, you know, this show that I was doing was really getting in the way of some Kings games, so I'm okay. All right, so it's, it's a, it's a double-edged sword. Congratulations. Thank you. So, I mean, Matthew Perry was incredibly gracious, but I have to say it is probably a reporter's worst nightmare that you get it that wrong. It sure is. When that's the basis of your whole interview. Kat Morgan, thank you for joining us yep. and let that be a warning to us not to do that. <laughs> Lovely to speak with you today.